How's it going guys? Grizzly here. Today we're up nice and early and we're going to get the rest of our planting done. We've got three more fields left to do. We've got two soybean fields and then the last and final grass field which doesn't need to be done. So that's not, I'm not going to count that. But the other one we're going to count is oats. However guys, let's get into it. Right, you guys as always if you guys are going to be enjoying these videos and you want to see more of them make sure you always dropping a like and subscribing to the channel just let me know you guys are enjoying it and now we've got everything out of the way we just got to get straight to the farm and get in the tractor so i left the tractor at our little seed and point that we made last episode and it's hopefully all good I, I'm, I'm hoping it's still there I, I i wouldn't see why it shouldn't be there but Fingers crossed it is, and I just need to run across this road, so I'm going to head straight there, because I feel like that's probably our best bet, and we're going to need our lights on, because very soon we're not going to be around any kind of lighting. However, what we're going to do is we're also going to start to look towards what we need to do next, and obviously planting's going to finish today, so the next bit we can look at is getting some grass foods ready, but also I had the little idea of clearing a couple of projects for example we've got one set of grass ready so we can actually make that into hay now so i'm thinking that might be a good idea maybe we can do that once we've got all our planting done however oh wrong way i quickly stop and go back however one thing that i am thinking about and that corner's grown really quick is we've also got the little problem of we don't have a planter that can plant the oats and I'm thinking I might need to borrow our friend's planter so I'm gonna have to go and have a little look and have a chat with him later on today to see if we can actually borrow that because I'm kind of hoping we can otherwise we've got a bit of a problem so fingers crossed we can do that however we need to quickly get in this tractor because this corn already showing through the ground it means that we're running out of time so let's quickly get parked up in here and I'm just gonna park in this shed here or not the shed under the shelter here try and keep it out of the weather a little bit so that's all done there we'll leave that there for now and then what we're gonna do is we're gonna jump straight in and go get some planting done I'll catch you guys in a minute I'm going to let Farmer Jim carry on in this field here. I thought he'd be good to go. However, looking at what's right in front of us, I thought wrong. However, he's going to get on with that because we're going to go and pick up an equipment, a bit of equipment from one of our friend's farms. I was having a chat with one of them while I was driving around the fields and it ends up one of them have finished their planting season for their main crops, uh, like their wheat and stuff like that. So they've said we can borrow their plant, their cedar for a day. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to head straight back to the farm, pick up a tractor, and we're going to go and collect it and get started. So I'll catch you all in a second. Alright guys, I'm just pulling into the farm here. It was luckily just the farm down the road really. It's our neighbour, so he was luckily enough just popping out as he was kind of leaving. He was going to get some work done out on the fields. So he left this bit of information. He said he was down by the silos. However, I'm going to assume he means these smaller ones. Because I don't see anything as of just yet. Is it around it? Ah, there we go. So he said it's a six metre bit of equipment, which isn't that bad. We're only doing one field, so I don't really think that's that bad, really. It's kind of a one off job. We might not even need to do oats next year, but he said that he is looking to get an upgrade next year. And if we were looking, if we could afford the right price, and if I could drill reverse properly. If we could afford the right price, he might even sell this to us kind of at the end of the year. So, guys, in the comments below, let me know if you think we should buy this. Have a little look at how we do with, do with it today. And I'm really bad at this. How how am I a farmer is, is the better question. But that's all good now. 
But let me know what you guys think about this. We'll give it a test run today. And we'll see how well it goes. But let me know. Now, let's get this back to the farm. And I'm going to get this all reseeded. I'm probably going to make sure Farmer Jim's all good for a bit of seed for a while. And then we can finally get in the field and get going. Because we have a lot to get done. Especially if we want to get all of this planted by the end of the day. So, let's get planting, guys. Alrighty, that's us all refilled. And this tractor's good to go. Check with Farmer Jim, and he's all good to be honest. He doesn't actually need anything. He's just going to kind of plod away with this field. Um, he's got all the outside, and he's just starting the lap, like the lengths up and down. But he's just starting on the far side. And he's going to work his way down. And the plan is, is that once he's done on that field, if I'm done doing oats beforehand, I'll probably go and start the other field with this cedar as well. See how it does with soybeans, because it might help us out. In the future if we do want to buy it it might help us out in the sense of looking for the future and saying is it really gonna kind of make a big difference on the farm because it could also do our soybeans hopefully so we're gonna have to have a little look at that and see exactly what we're looking at but what we're gonna do is we're gonna head to this field down here it's the one one of it's the thin one nearest the farm and we should be coming up to an entrance soon on the left here just this field tucked inside here some of you will remember it from the anhydrous video so we should find a little entrance to nearer nearer the farm nearer our silo and then we can get in and get some planting done and fingers crossed it's just here i think that's it just there there we go so let's i don't even know why i'm indicating since it's our own farm however let's turn that off and that is us all good ready to go what i'm going to do guys Let's get a little time lapse going and let's put this planter to the test. I went by your house, what a big mistake. Before a while, I thought that I wouldn't break. Ooh. I need something else to clear my head. Someone to tell me how to live instead. Just open your eyes and take my advice. Stop rolling the dice. And just compromise It's the chance of your life Alrighty everyone, 
that's us all done there. I'm just going to get this up and out the ground. I think that went quite well. Let me know what you guys think about that. I think it was okay. It seems to have done a good job. Let's jump out and just have a final look. Let's just park there for a second. I believe the engine running. Only going to be a second. But, in it, I think it's done quite good. I can't see many gaps. Um, even here on the corners, I can't really see any problems like we do with some of the bigger planners. So, I think you've done a really good job. Let me know what you guys are thinking about this planter. If we should maybe try and invest in it after harvest. Um, maybe we can do more oats and straw stuff as well. So it might be worth it. But let me know what you guys think in the comments below. And we'll have a little look next episode and see what we can do with it. However, what we're going to do now is we're just going to get the cattle all fed. Because Jim's still going on these fields. He hasn't even got to the second one yet. Which is actually quite a problem. And I don't think we'll get around to it. But... What we do need to do is we need to go and get some cattle fed. So what we're going to do is we're just going to park this in the yard for now because I'm going to have to take it back anyway. So I don't want to kind of get it all parked away when we're going to have to drive it back in a couple of hours anyway. So in the meantime, I'm just going to go and get pop the tractors out and I'm going to go and get the one that we're going to use for all the cattle feed. So I'm just going to quickly pull this around here. And I feel like we haven't left it too late, have we? No, no, just, oh, oh, it just fits. Go on, go on, fit, fit, there we go. So, that's all done there. I'm just going to park this one here because I'm not going to have anything going that way for the rest of the day. So, we'll just leave that there for now. And we're going to run in and just get this tractor here. So, what we're going to do is I'm going to do the feed first and then I'll come back and get straw. Let's quickly get this all reversed out. And guys, let me know as well if you prefer the videos without music. I know a lot of people do prefer it because they see more of the farm. And it's just something I've been trying. Obviously, recently you guys have seen I've done a lot more time lapses and montages. So just let me know if you guys have won that or if you would rather a video a bit more like this. Well, not really like this because we've done a time lapse in it, but more like less music just pure farming and maybe more cuts to show more of the things we get done but let me know that in the comments as well and i'm just gonna pull this in here to quickly get that empty in there and then once we get this all done we should be good i think we'll just need to do a bit of straw and then i think that's all done so that's all good there Let's head back and we're going to go and get the straw trailer and just fill it out. But I am debating selling that straw trailer to free up some money and just use a front loader. So I'm not too sure on if that's the smartest idea. Let me know what you guys think because I feel like that's more of a group decision that just because I'm not very sure. So just let me know on that one. Oh, what did we just hit? Whatever we hit isn't good. Let's quickly move around. Oh, can we make the turn? Yeah, we'll make that. And let's get this all parked up inside. Oh, am I going to be able to actually park today? Looking, it's looking like it. There we go. Right, that's all good. Let's jump out and get this all undone. And now let's get the straw done. And guys, as always, make sure you drop a like and subscribe in to the channel if you're enjoying these videos because it just it just lets me know that you guys are enjoying what we're doing. And if you're not, you can tell when it means I can work on stuff. However, we are looking at getting a couple of changes to the channel within the next following few weeks. So you should be seeing that soon. And I hope you guys will like it because I'm really looking forward to it. And I think you guys will really enjoy it. I think it will make these videos a bit more entertaining as well. So just let me know what you guys think when it does come out. And trust me, you guys really will know when it comes out. Why isn't this working? Are we all done for sure? Right, we're all done for sure. We just need to do water. We'll have a little clean. But I will get that done in a little bit. What I'm going to do guys is I'm going to call the episode there. And I will catch up with you all next episode when we need to figure out 
the next job on the farm. However, that's everything for me. I will catch you all in the next one. Have a good week, guys. See you soon.